you're looking at a lead attached to an Arduino or an IT Duino Mega. That is attached by these wires to the dreaded Raspberry Pi. Over there in the distance, the fearsome and ferocious AEM board and its little dongle. They are off in the distance because they're scary things. Now we'll start the slave by resetting the Arduino, the, the IT Duino Mega. Five flashes on the lead means that it's ready to go. We'll now start the master application. Counting down. Go, in a second, go, go, go. And now, every 2,000 numbers, it will display. What's happening? The slave, the master is pulling the slave for the next number. The slave, every time it sends a number, it increments it by one. We're using long unsigned ints. So there's a whole a huge range. Every time it receives 2,000 of these, it displays that everything's okay. This is just heartbeat function. Here, we have the lead flashing every 500 sends to show that there's a heartbeat. These other things are just attached, but they're not doing anything. This seems to work consistently for a long, long time. We've run this for millions of increments with not a single failure. By failure, I mean that the wrong number follows. If we're waiting for, if we receive 31, we expect 32. And if there's anything but 32, it's an error and the whole thing stops. We can let this run for a long time and nothing will happen, I hope, even though we have very long wires. However, if we take the fearsome dreaded AEM board, which is supposed to be just like this and connect it, it all fails immediately and there's no way to get it to work for the moment. That's where we are today. And that's a flashing lead. Goodbye.